Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, reading from verse 1 to 3, and it says, So I return and consider all the oppression that are done under the sun, and behold the tears of such as were oppressed and they had no comforter, and on the side of their oppressors there was power, but they had no comforter. Wherefore, I praise the dead, which are already dead more than the living, which are yet alive. Yea, better is he than both they, which had not yet been, who had not yet seen the evil work that is done under the sun. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His words. And this is very interesting and it's very profound as well. Now, Solomon is saying here that he has seen how much people are suffer and how much people are suffering by the hands of other people. Right? And he see the great pain that they have to endure from their oppressor and they have no one it seems to comfort them they have no comforter he says but it seems like the oppressor he has more power to oppress them and when you think about it even today in our world those who oppress others it seems like there's no one to put them in check or to keep them in check and so they constantly oppress it seems like they just get more power to oppress others so what he's saying here so is actually very profound and true you look at those who mistreat others there's hardly anybody to check them and so people keep suffering and they keep experience the harsh reality that they are alone and they have no one to comfort them and when he's talking about no one to comfort them he's talking about there's no one to to, to help them in the situation that they are in or to to rescue them from their oppressor but in spite of the fact that they marry no one physically there to rescue them god the great comforter and the great rescuer is there and that is why we must look up and not look down don't look to anyone to rescue you but look to god instead to rescue you and i say amen but he went on to say something he says that he praised the dead praise the dead which are already dead more than the living and why he praised the dead he says that he praised the dead and those who have not yet seen so those who hasn't been born yet are and those who are dead he's saying they are in a better place and a better place meaning that they are not alive to experience this kind of oppression and suffering from others so he says that he praised them or in other words he envied them because when he look at how much people suffer how much they 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 are treated so badly by their own other people abusing other people other people mistreating other people and most of the time there is no rhyme or reason for the oppression but just because we are consumed by so much hate so much evil and so much selfishness we are vessels or we become vessels for the enemy to use but i want us to understand this morning that it is never a good thing to oppress others and even though they might seem that there's no one to keep those who oppress others in check god has a message for those folks god is saying that your time will come 
and sooner than you believe. So whatever it is that you may be doing to others that you know that you should not be doing, the mistreatment that you are treating others with, God is taking record and he will deliver the payment if we don't repent. So let us not forsake what God is saying to us and what the servant of the Lord is imparting to us. Because remember, you know, he himself understand perfectly what this is like because he has experience in all of these things and that is why he's able to give us this sound advice so that we don't make the same mistake and trust me when you look in the world today so many people are suffering and suffering unfairly it's not because something they did wrong or anything just because people with evil intention decide that they want to mistreat others and because there is no one it would seem is here to tell them that look here what you are doing is wrong they continue to do it and they continue to mistreat others but as i said before that god is recording your actions all of our action and one of these days he is gonna make us accountable for our actions so may god open our understanding and our, our hearts that we will hear sound wisdom and that we will not forsake his word and that we will not keep mistreating others but we will show love and kindness instead because that is the will of god God continue to bless us and keep us in Jesus' name. Amen.